Moving now to the latest on the global response to North Korea's missile launches earlier this week. The U.S. ambassador to the United Nations says Washington is re-evaluating its approach to North Korea. Speaking in New York on Wednesday, Nikki Haley added that all options are on the table after the regime's repeated missile tests, while reiterating the need of the THAAD deployment on the Korean peninsula. Noah Ram has the details. The envoy's comments came shortly after the UN Security Council held an emergency meeting to discuss Pyongyang's recent ballistic missile launches and a day after the Council unanimously adopted a press statement condemning the provocation. Haley urged members to redouble efforts to impose UN sanctions. And so what the United States said during the Security Council meeting is we think that all of our counterparts need to impose the sanctions that have already been put in place. We call on all of our member states to also increase their strengths in what they're going to do in terms of getting the attention of North Korea as we go forward. Asked about China's proposal for the North to suspend its weapons activities in exchange for a halt of joint military exercises between the U.S. and South Korea, Haley said positive action should first come from Pyongyang. In regards to engaging in dialogue with the North, Haley expressed skepticism, describing leader Kim Jong-un as irrational. We are not dealing with a rational person. If this was any other country, we would be talking about that and it wouldn't be an issue. This is not a rational person who has not had rational acts, who is not thinking clearly. Haley also defended the deployment of a third anti-missile battery to South Korea despite opposition from China. So with our friends in China, you know, we've made it very clear that that is not in any way directed towards China. It is specifically for North Korea. That's the reason that we're trying to have the backs of South Korea in the way that we do that. She went on to say that Washington is re-evaluating how it must deal with the North and that all options are on the table. The envoy's remarks come as President Trump's aides are pressing to complete a strategy review on how to counter North Korea's missile and nuclear threats within this month, though the delay in filling national security jobs could see this timeline being pushed back. Noaram, Arirang News.